Just east of Seattle, the Issaquah Alps are some of the most heavily trafficked recreational areas in King County. The range consists of Cougar Mountain, Squawk Mountain, and Tiger Mountain, which is by far the biggest in the range. While Cougar Mountain and Squawk Mountain are both protected, over 12,000 acres of Tiger Mountain State Forest is open to clear-cut logging. But that's where this is a nice unit to take people to. It's already got easy trails. Most of our jobs is bushwhacking. Yeah, buddy. Oops. There it is. Got it. A little low on that side. 58.3. Okay. Yeah. We're standing here in Unit 1 of the LT Gray Timber Sale in t uh, on the south slopes of Tiger Mountain, um, half an hour east of Seattle in King County, Washington. The Washington State Department of Natural Resources has planned a timber sale here, which basically means they want to clear cut this entire area. Um, it's a very popular area for hiking and for especially for mountain biking. There's a lot of trails around here. Um, and they've been clear cutting it pretty consistently for decades now. Um, so this is just one example of one of their latest planned clear cuts for next year, 2024. A small section of Tiger Mountain State Forest is protected as a natural resource conservation area. But most of the forests are trust lands, which are managed to produce revenue for trust beneficiaries. These trust beneficiaries include the General School Fund, Washington State University, as well as the Capital Grant Fund, a fund solely dedicated to the maintenance of the 54-acre capital complex in Olympia. But by far the biggest beneficiary from the logging of Tiger Mountain is King County, which receives timber revenue from logging on over 9,000 acres of Tiger Mountain State Forest. Over the next decade, the Department of Natural Resources intends to auction off 13 timber sales in the forest, which will result in 28 clear cuts totaling 1,300 acres. These are the forests that the DNR are cutting down on Tiger Mountain. So by now you might be wondering what is a legacy forest? We've been using that term. And this tree kind of perfectly describes what a legacy forest is. It is 76 inches across, so that's over six feet. And it grew off of a old growth log, so there's a area where animals could live underneath it. If there's a bit of a den. You can also see the fungi in this tree. And you can most clearly see its size. It's a very big tree. Trees like this don't grow overnight. It's surrounded by a diversity of, of plants. There's, there's Devil's Club, there is elderberry, there's some native blackberry below me. It's this very diverse forest, and there are living trees, there are dead trees. So not only does this forest have species diversity, but it also has what we would call structural diversity. So there's a variety in the canopy. There are dead trees, there are living trees, there are trees with broken tops, there's dead wood on the ground, and there's a multi-story canopy, meaning that there are small trees, there are big trees, and there are really big trees. And this is the structure of an old growth forest. This forest isn't old growth yet, but it's on its way if we allow it to return to its original state. In addition to Tiger Mountain, King County is the direct beneficiary of logging on an additional 13,500 acres of DNR managed land, 2,000 acres of which are unprotected legacy forests. Between 2014 and 2022, King County received an average of $2,533,000 from DNR timber sales. Over the same nine-year period, King County had a budget averaging just shy of $5.5 billion annually. With timber sale revenue contributing just 0.05% of the county's annual budget. My measuring tape is literally too small. It's about an 80 inch thick tree. We're standing in the Chinwag timber sale next to a 
almost seven foot thick Sitka spruce tree. Forests like these are vanishingly rare, and to be cutting them down for what's essentially a rounding error in the county budget is insane, it's criminal, it's unnecessary. These trees are worth more standing for the public, for biodiversity, for climate change. These, the value of these trees is not in their timber, but it's in their capacity to support the ecosystems we all depend on. Technically, this isn't an old growth forest. This forest was cut down around 100, 150 years ago. But look at it now. It's on the cusp of being old growth again. And this tree is almost seven feet thick. And very much worth preserving in my mind. I'm standing on the eastern side of Tiger Mountain State Forest, where behind me the state of Washington is spending over $600 million to add lanes to State Route 18. If the state just spent a fraction of the money that they're investing into infrastructure on protecting legacy forests, which are, in many ways, the infrastructure of our ecosystems, we would be able to protect all legacy forests on state lands overnight. The DNR has historically managed trust lands with a single-minded focus on revenue maximization which almost always means clear-cut logging. But over the past few years, there's been a groundswell in support for the protection of Washington State's legacy forests. Now, even members of the Board of Natural Resources, which represents trust beneficiaries, are speaking out against the absurdity of funding public services by destroying public lands. If I sat a million school students down and said, instead of getting 2% of our capital budget, <laughs> <laughs> from this, how would you like to get six tenths of 1% of the capital budget, which they would care nothing about, and we would never harvest another forest in the state. You would have 50, 100, 200 year timber across the entire landscape by the time your children and grandchildren come along. I promise you a million kids are going to say never cut a tree again. It, 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 I need it to land on all of you that schools are not the reason we should be doing any of this. According to the Trust for Public Lands, over one million people visit Tiger Mountain every year. For this reason, and many others, Tiger Mountain State Forest clearly has a higher inherent value as a natural ecosystem rather than a timber plantation. King County has nothing to lose and everything to gain by protecting Tiger Mountain State Forest. <laughs>